on this stormy, stormy day here in the Netherlands. Outside, we hear that God is good. Really pissed off now. So uh, we are sitting here really calm in the studio and uh, we take the time to play with an old PowerBook G4. It's the 12 inch aluminium and as we all know, the software on it is also <laughs> very, very deprecated, my friend. So, um, yeah, I showed you some videos uh, of the other MacBooks, the whites, uh, been upgraded to the final uh, future operating system, and that is uh, Linux Mint, and uh, they are both running 17.2. And in fact, uh, yeah, I, I find Linux Mint kind of really working like Mac, also, if you select a video file and you hit the space bar, you know, it will give a preview. Uh, it gives, it really has the feels of it. Uh, also, you can change it around to, you know, have a great feeling that you're on some updated Mac with a lot of possibilities. So, um, I booted with Linux Mint Debian. It's, I don't even know what version, I found the CD somewhere here. It's probably not the right version. I saw yesterday on the site of the guy. It's a Dutch guy, by the way, uh, who created this uh, CD. Uh, I will tell you the name later. But this guy, um, I want to first give him thumbs up. Uh, he also updated the, the site because the site was hacked. It was down for a whole time and he worked also and worked on the code and I don't know what he did, but now YouTube also seemed to work. So in fact, I booted with a CD, uh, with a DVD, I burnt the DVD. It's a very small file. I think it's 20 megabytes, 17 megabytes. Just download it, burn it to a CD or a DVD and then boot with your power PC by holding the C key. Okay, welcome back. First, we have to download it. We're gonna download Mint PPC 11. Okay, it's a little file from 17.5 uh, megabytes. It's a mini ISO. I copied it to my Linux machine here, my Linux Mac, and now I just burnt it to a DVD. So I can use it uh, on, on every system that I want to install it, install it on. And then I don't have to, you know. So uh, soon we're gonna boot this machine that is already running uh, Mint. This is a PowerBook G4. It was running Mac OS X. I installed uh, this version of Mint on it. It's, it was probably a very old CD because I have a very old uh, uh, version of, of Mint here installed and it runs. But uh, yeah, see we have internet, etc. It does work. But uh, this is not the mint version that I wanted. I'm not really happy about it. it comes with Ice Weasel, you know, I really... Uh... But by the way, Ice Weasel is also Firefox. Eh? As you can see, this is also Firefox. So Ice Weasel is nothing else than Firefox. It's from Mozilla. So effect peeps, uh, yeah, we're gonna do an install. Uh, we're gonna boot with the CD, as you can see, Internet is connected. I secured the cable under here so because the clip of this thing is not so good and if you move it too much around it will just uh, get out because we need the internet because we will have to install uh, by typing install earl is mint ppc dot org. Okay, you got it? So there we go. We're gonna take the CD. We go to the power book. We boot it in, we kill the beats, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, animo, 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 three, four, five, so we hit the C, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, Animo, 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 animo. So we can let go, and now we say boot is. Uh, 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 we type install, yeah, and then Earl. You see that is mint. 
PPC dot org. You see that? I just typed that. And then we hit enter. Please wait. Ram disk. Loading ram disk. Boom. Call patience. Tut, 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 You see that? Boom. Abacadabra. The English to install will be English. Um, country is we are in the Netherlands, so we go to Europe and we go to Holland. See that? We hit enter. Uh, there is no lo uh, local defined for combination language country you have selected. You cannot select your preferences. Local blah, 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 blah. the local will use in the second column. Country to base default local settings on. I think that would be United States, right? I think it's the keyboard or so. Key map to use American English. So there you go, detecting hardware. And there you go. Auto configuration. Treble, treble. Configuring the network with the HCP. Please enter host name uh for okay host name will be debian no domain name i don't have that netherlands and ftp.nldebian.org i think continue checking debian server and there you go baby loading additional components so if this is done i'm gonna get back okay, here we come to the next steps here we must enter a root password let me do that real fast root password and then one more time so full name user puck i won't forget my own name username for your account puck choose password username uh, passwords that's because you put in your password don't forget your password please because if you forget your password you will be really messed okay, up okay here we can choose what we're gonna use i would say use the entire disk 60 gigabyte itachi all files are one partition separate home partition separate home user file i would go for the first one peeps and finish partitioning right to disk up here select yes and there you go so this will start doing the do I'm still at 6% retrieving EO group date. That while the machine is not stuck, it's still, but it's not doing anything. You see? For many hours. I'm tired of waiting, man. I'm just gonna kill this thing, man. I'm really tired of waiting. This is idiotic. How, why does it take so long? What is this? kind of crap so I'm gonna do it again maybe the server wasn't good I don't know maybe I'm gonna do it without connecting to any server hitting the scene starting all over again I'm gonna let you know if this works okay I did the process again inserted the cable a little bit better because it could not you know fix the internet settings and then the process continued choose a language, choose everything again, and you know, the thing start running, and it's been busy uh, for a while now, and it's looking pretty good. Let's take a look. Here you can see, it's not stucking on anything, and uh, the problem was probably the cable. Probably, I, I yeah, I touched the machine or did something, and the connection just stuck there at, you know, so I just rebooted again, hit the C key and started the whole thing again. And this goes good until now. So if everything goes right, we will have um, Mint 11 PPC version installed on this PowerBook G4. And I understood that this machine will get a better life uh, yeah this thing will uh, its life will be extended and that's what i wanted uh, 
because this is a very beautiful device very sad that it's just lying around eating dust that while it can run a fantastic distribution of linux that we can modify the way we want and uh, also use you know to we'll have to see how much uh, hardware uh, will work after this installer but i just hope that we will get everything working wi-fi sound etc etc Well, in the previous screen, I got something like failed, bloody, bloody, blah. And now it's saying installation complete time to boot into your new system. Finishing the installation on mounting file systems. And probably it's going to spit out this DVD. Let me see if I can kick it out. I will see the end this thing. There you go. So I must give it a name. Stage one boot. Boot. Bang. Bang. Roots, 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 roots. Our finger. Oh la la. Mint is installed on the power book. Hey, sound is working. I, I, regardez, sound et travail, madame et monsieur. That is really fantastic. But, on n'a pas de Wi-Fi. No Wi-Fi. You see that? No Wi-Fi, madame et monsieur. And the screen is loading halfway. But internet. What do we have here, Midori? Let's see if we still have internet because of this cable thing. How could I resist? I was just an innocent bystander. How could I resist? And we have internet. Is YouTube playing? Cause I could not watch YouTube videos on my mm, on my power PC. Let's go to my channel. Oops! Of course, you must type channel forty eight. She gave me no choice in the matter. How could I resist? Cause I was just an innocent bystander How could I resist? Uh oh Let's play Sound 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 is on but I don't hear nada. Video is playing with uh, no sound, uh, my people. Probably I must go install some Alsa mixer. Maybe, I think. YouTube videos play. But it's not about watching YouTube videos on this thing. Where they play? Uh, Alsa mixer. Let's open the Alsa mixer. We should have sound, huh? You know, I could have stopped this video and say, Hey, uh, it's installed. But the thing must work. Otherwise, it makes no sense. Alsa mixer, is this thing open? Oh, it's already open. Sound card properties.
Thank you, John. That's better. Uh, peeps, what can I say? Uh, I will have to play a little bit with it to find out why the sound is not working, etc. But uh, for now, uh, only internet is working. I don't know if I remove the cable, what's going to happen. I just remove the cable. Disconnect it. There is no Wi-Fi or whatsoever available. That is, of course, very, very sad. Because I'm not going to sit with the cable here. Network. And here you can see DNS host general. I don't see no Wi-Fi. I must unlock, of course. Okay, but no nothing. You see that? There's no Wi-Fi. And sound is not working. Very, very sad. Very, very sad. Sound card properties. No properties coming up. It did show the, the, the volume button, but... Uh, it's not playing. Yep. So that's it. Well, I really don't know how to feel. The thing is installed. It works reasonable, reasonable fast. It's not kind of slow. But sound is not working. No Wi-Fi. So you know what? I'm going to do some stuff on it. I'm going to work a little bit on it. See if I can, you know and if i will succeed then we will get a little part after this video and if not this will be just the very end of it okay i can tell you i played a bit with it the wi-fi was working but it was just not showing in the in the taskbar but i got it to work the wi-fi is working and i must say that the system is really fast the peeps only one little thing sound is not working and more people have problems uh, with sound but for the rest i can say it works beautiful uh, internet works uh, videos youtube playing but no sound such a pity such a pity such a beautiful system eh? i must say um, that it runs fine the internet via the wi-fi uh, WPA2 is just uh, supported you see you can use it to read the news it loads it works you see that it's maybe not so fast as your newest computer but it works but then again it makes no sense for me to keep it if the sound is not working eh? because as you can see we have everything up here and the ALSA sound mixer is not <laughs> so i installed another mixer to see maybe you know if i could fix it but no and i then type some commands in terminal to add some sound uh press to the system but did not work man it did not also the screen is it's good but um in no way I can find how to uh, uh, go to the resolution and set up the resolution because there's something with the resolution Here you can see it's kind of laggy and slow uh, it's getting laggy and slow it was not at all not but in some way it's not uh... so yeah I'm gonna end this project this I find it kind of failed because yeah I could not get the sound even though the sound shows but it's not working so yeah what can I say however I understood that if you do this on other power PCs you know you might get everything to work I have a guy that uh, has a story 
He has an Apple Pismo. I also have that machine. You know, everything works. Wi-Fi connects to WPA2, uh, you know, thanks to the support of Mint PPC. It's, by the way, not Mint Linux. It's it's the Mint Li Linux Mint uh, desktop. But, in fact, it runs under Debian. So, yeah, I'm kind of a little bit disappointed because I found it running good. But then again, it's also... You hear that? It's really busy with the fan. Maybe I should open it with a, one day and just clean it all out. <laughs> I never opened this thing yet. Looks so good. We might do it uh, one day. But for now, I'm gonna say uh, thank you for watching. I, I, I'm sorry to report that uh, yeah, on the 12 inch power PC, sound does not work. For the rest, it works pretty good. And that the Wi-Fi was found, that was even more beautiful.